Hey everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome back to Geese Origins. We, uh, are about to enter into the, uh, Rota Annex once more, and talk to Lady Fina and Cecilia, or at least I think Cecilia's in here. Maybe it's Candina. I don't remember their names. Anyway, uh, to see if they have any clue of what my next step should be. So, let's find out. Vanessa. Thank goodness you're safe. I had the strangest sensation. It was almost as if I could hear you screaming. I was worried something terrible had happened to you. Lady Fina? Something has occurred then. What is it, Vanessa? That would certainly account for the sense of unease. I'm so sorry. So Dallas turns them to stone without even building up a charge. I knew he was powerful, but this is well beyond anything I'd imagined. Um, Candina? Since this is a curse and all, do you know anything about how to undo it? I'm afraid not. Petrification is not something that comes up very often, so I've only really just begun studying it. And there's definitely nothing I can do to reverse it, its effects. So there's stuff like that? It's too soon to give up hope. There may yet be a way to save them. But in order to accomplish it, we'll need a very specific artifact. A kind of artifact. It's a holy statue known as the Dreaming Idol, which should hold the power of, to break curses such as this. Rhea passed it down to the caretakers of Solomon's Shrine long ago. The Dreaming Idol? If I'm not mistaken, the acolyte Dino actually brought that to the surface with him. Really? I'll go get it then. Please wait, Nessa. The Dreaming Idol is capable of... Uh, purification on a grand scale, but purification alone is not enough to break a curse. Petrification is one of the most powerful curses there is. To undo it, we'd need an equally large amount of pure energy. And simply put, none of our artifacts have that much raw energy packed into them. Even if we focused all of our powers, it wouldn't come close to the amount we need. Nissa, what's that jewel you have? This is... Hugo gave it to me. He said it might help us. Apparently it's a mock-up of the real Black Pearl. Remarkable. It does contain a considerable amount of energy. I think it may just be enough. Really? How in the world did Hugo know we would need it, though? That boy can be a real mystery sometimes. Either way, with that Black Pearl replica and the Dreaming Idol, we may actually be able to undo the Petrification Curse. Wow. Okay, then I'm going to go and get the Idol from Tino right now. Yes, please do. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay, I can't do the uh, teleportation inside this building. It's so annoying. Uh, oh well. Inventory. Dino, you down here? Dino? Dino, so what's wrong? You just explained the other knights had been turned to stone. Oh dear, that's not good at all. Fortunately, I did bring the dreaming idol down to the surface with me. It's normally enshrined 
in the com companion of Lang, of Lane, but this occasion called for a bit of extra precaution. Wow, it's that important. An artifact? It is. It can purify just about anything. All the more reason to have it on hand in a place like this, really. Here. Hmm. So, we can really bring Roy and the others back with this. Theoretically, it's worth a shot, at least. Please give my regards to Candina and Lady Fina. Let's admit, I'm surprised to hear the enemy's leader would make a personal appearance like that. It seems like things are finally coming to a head. I have a feeling the most dangerous ordeals are yet to come. Please do take care, Yunissa. I will. Thank you so, so much. And... Uh, yeah, I need to upgrade my boots. Thank you. And back up to Rhoda's Annex. Get them to uh, help me out with this. Take them to the uh, location. Hopefully, uh, it's. Uh, Nothing bad's gonna happen. Alright. Lady Fina? Yunessa, welcome back. Lady Fina, I got it. So I see. I think we're ready to proceed then. This should be everything we need to undo the petrification curse. Really? Okay, thank goodness. Just when I thought Hugo had gone rogue, he swoops in at a random and saves the day. I guess he has his moments after all. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, let's get the Dreaming Idol infused with the energy from that Black Pearl replica. Nessa, would you please set both our effects on the ground in front of me? Okay. Here we go. Statue now has a gemstone. With that, the two artifacts are now one. It's quite impressive. I don't think there's another soul in this world that could do what you just did, save for Lady Rhea. The jewel's energy should now be channeled directly into the idol itself. So it's ready to be used on Roy and the others? It is. Just hold it aloft in their presence and the artifact should do the rest. Hurry now, there's no time to lose. I'm on it. Thank you, Lady Fina. Yeah, yeah. Whatever am I going to do with that girl? She's a handful, all right, but I have to admit, enthusiasm is infectious. I feel a lot more optimistic just looking at her. Indeed, and yet, she has no magic ability really whatsoever. Even the most basic spell of daily life are beyond her. But then, suppose magic is born of black is born of the Black Pearl, after all. Perhaps Unessa's heart is simply too pure for it, too devoid of demons. I could tell she was special the very first time we met. And 
and she grows more special by the day. That's interesting information. Should work. What? What happened? It worked. It really worked. Well, this is what happened. How are you feeling? Does it hurt at all? Not really. So I definitely don't feel like myself just yet. I'm sure I'll hurt like hell once this numbness wears off. Well, at least you're better off now than you were a minute ago, I guess. We all are, thanks to you. I must say, I'm very impressed. As am I. I, I owe you my life. We are all in your debt, Sir Eunissa Tova. You've once again impressed all surpassed all expectations and done the Holy Knights proud. No, please. I don't deserve your praise. I wasn't able to keep you from being turned to stone in the first place, after all. Honestly, it's pure dumb luck that I was able to save you, and I couldn't have done it without help from Lady Fina, Dino, and Hugo. Hmm. Well, I think you did great. You have resisted the overpowering urge to charge headlong at the enemy, totally defying your usual animal instincts. I'm not a boar, you know. Helping Eunissa grow and mature as a knight is almost worth being turned to stone, if you ask me. Eunissa? I think you should know that before Commander Tova departed for the surface, he wrote me a letter. Yes. I can still recall exactly what it said. It said that every man, woman, and child has an important role to play in life. It doesn't matter how powerful or influential we may be, our time to shine will always come without fail. Until it does, all we can do is wait. When the moment is right, we will hear the call. It's how we answer that call that determines our strength of character. That's the battle we fight against the weakness in our hearts. My grief has, is passing. I've put that letter out of my mind. But your words have reminded me of his. You're doing what you know you were destined to do, just as he did. And I believe my destiny lies ahead as well. Commander. You have uncovered your own strength, Sir Eunissa Tova, and shown them to us all. That way we... That we may learn from your example. In my naivety, I have nearly rendered your father's sacrifice in vain. Now I know what I must do, what we all must do. Thank you, Eunissa. Thank you for opening our eyes and saving our lives. You are a true holy knight in every sense. Well, allow me then. Our bodies are no longer stone, but the curse took its toll on us. I believe we should withdraw for now. We must give ourselves a chance to rest and recover. In our current state, we'd only be holding Nissa back. Agreed. My body still feels 
heavy and swollen. Not confident I'd be able to handle myself in combat just yet. We shall undergo a thorough regimen of healing magic, then rejoin the search as soon as we can. In the meantime, Unissa, we leave the search for Lady Rhea in your capable hands. Yes, sir. On that note, I believe you'll need this. Hey, hey! Take care, and may fortune be on your side. Thanks, I hope you all feel better soon, too. And with that, I think I will, uh... Take a look at the boss, see how well I do, and then go from there. And if need be, I don't know. I might have to level grind. Save. Come on. Talk to the statue. Okay. Come on. Come on. Go, go up. And what does this beast look like? A giant mantis. I've been killing its offspring throughout this entire area. Ugh. Yeah, it's a mantis. First look at this boss, shall we? Uh, why is the ceiling bleeding? Ooh! What? Ow! Ah! No, 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 no! You don't like you. No, 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 no. You stay away from me. I don't like rockets. Those look like very bad rockets. that. this thing with only four health? 
No. I got close though. I got really close. I'll see you guys in the next episode. So until then, take care.